what is going on guys welcome back to another video of notes application development in android studio using firebase in last video we designed the recycler view to display all the notes that are added in the firebase firestore database in this video we'll set on click listener to each notes item and navigate to notes detail screen so that we can view edit or delete the note so let's get started so you can close all this and first thing we will go to note adapter and on bind view holder we will set the on click listener we have to pass some things so on click listener we have to set that will be holder dot item view dot set on click listener you can use lambda so from here we will navigate to notes detail activity so you can create a different activity for viewing the notes but i have this screen where we have this add new note i'll use same activity for viewing editing and deleting the note so i'll make some changes and use the same activity so from here we will go to this activity that will be intent let's create a intent new intent from here we have to we need context and we will go to note details activity dot class so when we click on item view it will go to note detail activity but which note we are clicking so each note have unique id so we have to pass unique id we have to pass title we have to pass the content also so three things we will pass from here to that activity so intent dot put extra first let's pass title that will be note dot title second thing we'll add content note dot content third thing will be id so that i will write doc id so in note we don't have doc id we have to get the doc id from snapshot so before this i will get the doc id from this dot get snapshots dot get snapshot from from list of snapshot we will get this snapshot for this position so whatever the note is clicked and from this we will get the id that will be get id so this doc id will be unique for each note so here i will pass doc id so these three things we need in intent now we can start the activity context dot start activity we can pass intent so from note adapter we are done we can click that and we can go to that activity i will run it and test it so i will test by clicking on any of the note i will click on this so it took me to add new note page that is our note detail activity if i click on this also it is taking to this we have not received the title content over here we have not set it we have to make change to this activity if doc id content and title is coming from that page we can change the title as edit your note and we can have title content that are already there so let's make those changes so you can close this and go to note details activity here we will receive all those when activity note details so we have to change this text view that is add new note so we have to link this text view we have the id that is page title we can go here and create a text view that will be page title text view we can link the id find view by id r dot id dot page title so we have passed three things from there we will receive those here so string title content and doc id so these three things we will receive from that page so after this we will receive data here what we will do is title equals to to receive data from intent we have to do get intent dot get string extra the name will be title whatever we have given there in the same way content doc id name will be content doc id now we have title content and doc id we can set title to this edit text and we can set content to this edit text so for that we can do type title edit text dot set text title content edit text dot set text content doc id we are not displaying so i will not set text to that and we have to change this title page title should be add new note or not so page title should be edit your note so we have to add a condition because we can go from this plus button also we can go from here also so from here if we go we have doc id from here if we go we don't have any doc id title and content so we can make a boolean value over here is edit mode it will be by default false if we receive doc id then we can make is edit mode as true so here what we can do is if doc id is not equal to null and and doc id dot is empty is not empty is not we have to put it here so that if it is not null and it is not empty then that means is edit mode equal to true that means we are in edit mode that means we came from here 
not from plus icon if we go from plus icon it edit mode will be false so here what we can do is if is edit mode we can set the title page title dot set text edit your note so in this way if you come from there it will show edit note let's run it and test it so first thing if i go from here as you can see we have edit your note the title and the content i click on back here title content edit your note but if i click on plus over here title is empty content is empty and add new note is visible so our logic is working fine now if you save this after editing if you save this after editing it will save as a new one because we have not provided in save note to firebase we have not provided the document reference that we have got so it will save as a new so how we can solve that we can go to save note to firebase here document reference we are getting from here if this is not edit mode if this is edit mode then we will do something else we will do this so whatever we were doing it was not for edit mode so we will do this if it is edit mode we will pass the document id this document will pass the id that we have doc id so it will update the means if it is edit mode it will update it will update the note if it is not edit mode it will create a new note let's run it and test the edit functionality i will click on first note i will change the title as edited i will click on this so as you can see my first note is edited so since we have modified the note it has got the new timestamp and it has come at first so we can add new note from here and we can edit or view note from here so that's it for this video in next video we will add the delete button in the edit note screen and we will delete the note using that delete button we will add functionality for the delete note and also we will add logout option in the menu so that we can log out from the application if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to click on subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye